if qualification is success, then all professors would have been rich. But that's not true. They are poor professors. So it is not your qualification, it is favor. If threat is what it means, then most of uh, weightlifters will be very rich. And laborers will be rich, but no laborers are very poor. So this kingdom is not how you pose. It's favor. It's what? Enjoying the favor of God. Yeah, listen, hear me well. You and I are created to enjoy favor. What is enjoying? It is possessing something that grants you utmost pleasure, benefit, and delight. I said this. Possessing something that grants you utmost pleasure, benefit, and delight. You know, when they serve you food, they ask you, do you enjoy this food? You say, yes, I enjoyed it. And you say, give me more. Is that true? And if you don't enjoy it, you say, no, no, no. But God said you should enjoy favor. That means more favor will come. No matter what you have seen. You know, if you enjoy food, you say, can you add more? It's true? Yes. One of the signs of enjoying something is say, put more. So whatever favor you have enjoyed, you will enjoy more today. That amen is too weak. What is favor? So you know what favor is. In case your name is favor, you don't know the meaning. <laughs> Someone has a favor, they don't even know the meaning of it. It's always favor. They said, I told my mother, call me now. Favor, it means to provide with special advantages to receive preferential treatment. To provide with special advantages to receive preferential wealth. Treatment. God is the authentic source of favor. He can use any man to do it, but he is the source. Enjoying God's favor means godly, divinely positioning you to come in contact with favorable disposition that grants the utmost benefits, like special privileges, advantages, and preferential treatment in whatever you do, wherever you go, that brings glory to God. Favor is the heritage of the children of God in Christ. In the kingdom of God, we don't rise by strength, we rise by favor. Many today boast of connection, but connection has its own limitations because by strength shall no man prevail. Today, world, they talk about who I know, but in the kingdom of God, we talk about the God we know. When God favors you, even those who hate you will favor you. So I hear. It distinguishes you wherever you are found. That's what favor does. Even Jesus was distinguished on the earth by favor. In Luke chapter 2 verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and what man. After this day, anywhere you are found, favor will follow you in the name of Jesus. Because as the Father sent him, so he sent us. Jesus, judge for favor is the flavor of life. You be the next to be favored. Amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Shout a believer's amen. amen. If God favor you for one day, it can terminate a lifetime of struggles. A day of God's favor is more than a lifetime of labor. Israel labored for 430 years. 400 what? That's if it's a generation of four generations. They labored, nothing to show. Your grandfather, great-grandfather, nothing to show. Grandfather, nothing to show. Your father, nothing to show. And I came to you as if nothing to show. But after today, there'll be something to show. Yeah. Their families, great-grandfather, cray, 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 cray. Grandfather, cray, 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 cray. Immediate father, cray, 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 cray. They came to you and you're scratching. Are you getting me? If qualification is success, then all professors would have been rich. But that's not true. They are poor professors. So it is not your qualification, it is favor. If threat is what it means, then most uh, weightlifters would have been very rich. And laborers would have been rich, but no laborers are very poor.
So this kingdom is not how you pose. It's favor. It's what? Israel walked, 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 walked. I've not seen oil workers who are owing. Have you not seen bankers who are counting money and they don't have money to eat? So it is it's not where you walk. It's in favor of God. Now Israel worked so hard for 30 years. Nothing had labor. Then in Exodus 3 verse 21, hear what God said. Somebody is walking out today. You have labored enough. Oh? Say, I have labored enough. It's time for me to enjoy favor. It is what you expect, you experience. He said, I'll give this full favor in the sight of the Egyptians. When God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Egyptians are the unbelievers. Is that true? And it shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go what? I'm speaking to someone. Emptiness has ended in your life. You will not go anywhere from today and return back without something. If that amen is from your heart, let it show. I say you will not enter anywhere and come back and return empty. Anywhere you go from this service as you're stepping out, as you're entering, you are returning with something good. I'm speaking to someone who says amen all over the world. Even while you're at home, your phone call be a call of favor. Shout aloud, amen, if you believe it. Even in verse 22 of that same chapter, and everyone shall borrow of a neighbor and of her that saw in her house jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment, and shall put them upon your sons and your daughters, and you shall spoil the wealth. That is, they were borrowing them their gold. People will say we are going. How do you borrow somebody gold when you, the man is going? You know, when God wants to favor you, even your enemies, you will make them look stupid. Now, these are the people who they served for 40 years. And they say we are going you know, to our country. Where we are. So they did not know. They were not born. They said we are going back to where we came from. Where our great grandfather said we came from. We are going back there. And they said, okay, we borrow you our gold. The gold was the whole economy. Just imagine someone say, I, I give my business, be managing it. Eh? I say, I'm going, you know, he say, take it and be managing it. Is that true? Somebody hearing this message, a multinational firm will hand over it all to you. Yeah. And ask you to manage the business. Yeah. Do you believe it? Yeah. Okay, if you believe it, then it becomes your portion. Yeah. You know what favor does? It adds color and beauty to your Christian life. But there are things to do to turn on the switch of favor. You don't wait for favor, you provoke favor. You do certain things so favor can keep coming. Is that clear, sir? Now I'll be sharing with you how to provoke God's favor. How to do what? How to turn on the switch for favor. So you don't wait for favor. I enjoy favor every day of my life. Uh, you get what I'm saying? That it, this man who you see, so I'm an embodiment of favor. If you are not enjoying favor, then why are you born again? Salvation is an, is an induction. Permit me. When they say induction into so so so, salvation is an induction into favor. Are you get what I'm saying now? Are you, are you, it's an initiation into what? Where you enter, favor becomes your portion. That's if, the, if your name is Lazarus John, you can become Lazarus Elias Favor John. Do you understand it? Now, your name, no matter what it is, favor will be added to it. How to provoke God's favor, number one? New birth. Be born again. Do what? Jesus answered in John 3, verse 3. Or to him, very, very nice to you, except a man be born again, shall not see the kingdom of what? Kingdom of God. Man lost everything through sin. So it will take a returning back. How shall we escape? Hebrews 2, verse 3. If we neglect so great what? A salvation. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by them that heard him. How shall we escape? So your only escape is to return back to where Adam lost everything that he was enjoying. So being born again is the first qualifier for God's favor. For that Lord will bless the righteous. Who is the righteous? The born again person. Psalm 5 verse 12. With favor will that compass him as with a shield. Save from today. Say it like a child of God. I wear favor as clothes. Say it one more time. Because I'm a child of God. You don't have a future without favor. Any 
Christian who is not enjoying favor, something is wrong. He says it will, it will sh- shield. Are you going to that? So favor will become your portion from this moment. Amen. It will terminate all those struggles in your life. Amen. That amen is weak. Oh. Amen. Once you are born again, favor becomes your portion. Look at the prodigal son. Prodigal son went on a prodigal journey. And when he returned in Luke 15, 17 to 20, the Bible said, and the father decked him. Say favor. You know, let me tell you this. Some of you are born again, but your problem is that the prodigal son's elder brother. Prodigal son's elder brother was too religious. When the brother came back, the Bible said, the father said, let's kill the fattest calf for our brother so we can make merry. The prodigal son understood that favor is his heritage. He said, what am I doing here? Let me return to my father's house where I can enjoy what? Favor. The prodigal son elder brother was so religious. They are in church, oh. They are not committing sin, oh, but they are so naive, so ignorant. That when it comes to favor, they say, Don't worry, oh. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. 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 I don't tell you. Amen. Amen. Oh, okay. Some of us came like prodigal son. We were on the other side of life. Well, we came with favor, followed us. True? You are born again and you are still something clink, 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 living in one room for five years. For what? You don't have to buy a house to get a house. Hear me again. You don't have to what? He said they got not the land by their own strength. Did we buy a house to get Alabama property? Did we buy it? As I'm speaking right now, somebody who is born again and believe is your portion, receive it right now. Because it is what you expect. You experience. If you are not expecting favor, I can preach all the messages from now to tomorrow, not to have one. Some people don't even know when favor comes. But what you are not expecting, when it comes, you will not know. They will pray, oh God, oh God, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. Then they say, well, there's a contract. Can you do it? They say, ah, me do contract. He has prayed just now. Oh God, oh God, favor me, favor me. And then someone just walked to him and said, um, we are trying to see there's a one, some two point something billion, 20 point something billion, depending on the what this billion. You see, what do you talk? <laughs> 20 point what? 20 point. I could take counter for our language. 20 point something billion. Uh, okay. No, now. 20 point. I make a look for my uncle where we seen it all. God brought it to him. Oh. He has prayed, oh, but he's not expecting. That's why I'm praying because some things will happen. But a man who is expecting will say, okay, 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 yes, go ahead. Go ahead, tell me the business. But some people are born again, nothing. They will be looking for unbelievers. They say, we want to look for someone in the village to make governor. Uh, me? No, no. What about my brother? Do you, who are you? But today you will not miss your opportunity. Yeah. Well, I'm speaking prophetically to someone. Favor will locate you after now. Yeah. And if you're expecting it, you will know. Yeah. If you're expecting it, what? When it comes, hey, 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 this is my own. When Joseph saw the opportunity, he said, ah, this is me. <laughs> he didn't say, no, I'm in the prison here. He didn't say so. But some of you, you'll be in your the, in the office, someone will walk to you and say, um, they told me of a, one of the richest women in Nigeria, she's born again, but the wealthiest woman, she was a designer, fashion designer. She was sewing clothes. During the military regime, she began to sew clothes for the first lady. That time, it was military regime. And then they were sharing oil wells. So they were discussing. While they were discussing, that's how she stumbled into oil and gas business. The wealthiest black woman. Are you here? I'm saying now. But if it's a fool, they say, ah, me... Me that is sowing, he has not telling me oil and gas. No, now my own Arapa alone was a bill, not be oil. She was a fashion designer, that woman. She was not an oil and gas. But today she's the wealthiest woman. It's an opportunity. If God wants to favor, you can come from anywhere. 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 I mean, expecting favor. Lift your right hand towards him and say, Holy Spirit, when favor comes, May I not miss it. 
Make me to understand that this is for me. Now receive it if you believe it in the name of Jesus. Stay tuned. David Ibiume will be right back. In the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to neglect your spiritual well-being. But what if you could find a way of connecting with God each morning, even in the midst of your busy schedule? Join the online morning devotion, your daily 30-minute sanctuary of peace and reflection every Monday to Saturday at 7 a.m. for a soul-nourishing experience that will set the tone for your entire day. Since 2020, I've had an overactive hormonal imbalance. I've not been able to see my period monthly without taking hormonal drugs. So I placed my hand on my tummy during the personal prayers and I prayed. And to my amazement and to the glory of God, my period came out for the first time since 2020. I'm just here to give all the glory. During the morning devotion on May 18th, Papa declared that we shall be fed financially as we step out. And that very same day when I stepped out, I was fed financially from someone I didn't even expect and I was able to ratify a financial issue I had at hand. And brought the morning devotion too, my team and I were respecting God for a promotion and God granted us a promotion on 24th of May and I'm here to return on board. You can send testimonies, including pictures, short videos, name and location to WhatsApp on plus 234-904-919-3971 or plus 234-818-472 826 or you can send via email omd at smhos.org visit our website at smhos.org forward slash live streaming and our social media platforms to be a part of this transformation journey don't let your busy schedule keep you from starting your day with god join now they worship together regularly at the temple each day met in small groups in homes for communion and shared meals with great joy and thankfulness. Acts 2, 4-6 In your daily pursuit of a fulfilling life, you need the support of a spiritual family. A heaven where you can enjoy spiritual comfort, a brook where you can be refreshed with God's word, and a military backup for fellow soldiers in Christ. Enjoy these and much more in the Cell Fellowship, designed as a close-knit setting for your personal revival, growth, and blessings. It exists in three structures, the Home Cell Fellowship, which is suited for everyone, the Corporate Cell Fellowship, which is convenient for corporate offices and organizations, and the Unique Cell Fellowship, which is made for students. No matter your preference, there is a place for you. Locate the nearest Cell Fellowship Center to you and begin reaping the benefits today. Welcome to Our Salvation with David Ibiomi. Prodigal son was expecting what? Favor. His brother was too religious. He said, can they give me a kid? That man was nonsense. Hmm? I just want transport. Can't you buy, can't motor? Can't they give you motor? Hmm? Give you a car. Is there anything wrong? Must you take the, your shoe bent? Go for Say, go for it. I will not trek. Favor. Say favor. favor. Number two way to enjoy favor is to be at the center of God's purpose for your life. To be at the what? Accept, pursue, and stay on God's assignment. Now look at Jesus. Say for this cause came into the world. This is for this cause. He came for an assignment and it was that that announced him to his world. In Luke chapter 2.49, he said, and he said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? We see not that I must be about my father's word, business. This is the purpose why I came. It was about his father's word, business. He came for a purpose and it was there. And in verse 52, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. He had favor because he was at the center of God's word, assignment. Favor answers to you when you are God's purpose for your life. Are you hearing me? Now look at Mary. <laughs> Mary was not the only virgin. You, know. you may not be the only person who is a graduate in your office, but something will happen to you after now. Yeah. Is that how you say amen? Yeah. Mary was not the only virgin. She was not the only virgin. They were clean virgins, but favor. One thing about favor is preferential what? It doesn't matter how many people are sitting where you are. It doesn't matter how many people are standing where you are. But today, the light of it will beam on someone who says amen. Yeah. 
Mary was highly favored. Highly what? Because she was at the center of God's purpose for her life. In Luke chapter 1 to the 8, 38. An angel came unto her. And I said, hey, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Oh my God. What he says to one, he says to all. If he says to a woman, he says to a man too. He said, you are highly what? She high, not just for, highly favored. They, she was not the only virgin. No, there were virgins everywhere. But God said, you are the one I chose. It doesn't matter. That was a famous preferential word. Treatment. That is, you just enjoy it. With, it doesn't matter how many are in the system. You are, they just come and say, well, you, oversee training. Leave everybody. They say, you, 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 go. Go for that training. Are you not expecting somebody in a career? Are you not expecting something good? Oh, I'm speaking prophetically to someone. Amongst the crowd, God will single you out. Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Be unto me what? She was the center. I'm enjoying favor because I'm the center of my calling. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are testimonies I don't share, so if some people will not down the road. Not you. I don't share them because if I send them, I will share. Some people can faint. Already, this, many people are not too happy. Not you. You, you can't be in this. You're not happy with me. Why? I mean, those ones outside. Not unbelievable. Some people just don't are happy. If you're favored, some people will not like you. One of the signs of a favored man is some people hate you, like Joseph. His brothers hated him. You know why? Favored people, most people don't get, they get angry with them. When you're sharing a testimony, they Look at, look at every time. I, I trust God just favor me with a new house. The house go fall, go fall. You know, you know go fall, your house no go fall. <laughs> when they see people hate you, you know. Even if you're moving, they don't do their face. It's many for them to say, why they move like that? <laughs> if not seen, people will hate you. So then they just see many for them because you're not talking. They just say, everything, even where you match, is spending them. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter whether it paints anybody or not. <laughs> God will favor you. God will do what? God, why do you paint people? Oh? God will do what? If you like making paint other people, we go for you. <laughs> God will go favor you. So you know what God for you? You're going to pay people. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> How many of you want to enjoy the favor of God? God's favor will answer to you. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how many people are where you are. It doesn't matter how many people are in your profession. I declare and I declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amongst the crowd of over 7 billion people. May the favor of God answer to before this day is over. Just like Mary was not the only virgin but she was highly favored. You may not be the only person in your career. You may not be the only person in your business. But in the name of Jesus, even marriage is my favor. My God. Oh, you, yeah, the most beautiful women. I didn't want to marry the most handsome men. No. Most beautiful women. Even a beauty quiz would have married. Most beautiful quiz don't even have husbands. You didn't hear me? So it's not how you drop and kill the time is your marriage. It's favor. It's what? Favor is my marriage is my favor. If look, if God favor you, the man can't sleep. He said, No, no, this woman, I must marry her. I must marry her. I must marry her. But when people is not there, even when you greet them, they say, for what? Why they greet me up and down? So it, don't think if it's your pancake, it's what married you, then everybody, many people will have married. But favor is what means marriage. Is that not true? Now I declare to someone that favor will bring forth your next testimony. Favor will give back to your next testimony. Shout aloud, amen, if you had one. Number three, third, third way to promote favor, you must be a kingdom promoter. You must be a what? Be a lover of God's kingdom. Lovers of God have unlimited access to the favor of God. You can't seek the advancement of his kingdom and lack his favor. In Psalm 102, 13 and 14, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the said time is what? For that servants take pleasure in our stones and favor the toast thereof. If you take pleasure in the things of God, God will take pleasure in your own affairs. And Solomon loved the Lord. Is that true? <laughs> he went to keep you to sacrifice 1,000 pound offering and God said, hey, I'll favor you with wealth. First Kings 3, 3 and 4. 
And in verse 13, God said, hey, I'm going to favor you. I'm going to what? He said, no king was as rich as Solomon. Even the queen of Sheba came to favor. Look, no matter how wealthy you are, one of the signs that you are favored is that people will still come and give you something. Solomon was rich. He was not a poor man. Yet, queen of Sheba came. If nobody's giving you anything, their favor is not there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you hearing me? You are leaving this service as walking into a favor after now. He had love for God and favor just answered to him. Everywhere Solomon went, favor answered to him. The man David was highly favored. Was highly what? This man loved God. He said, I've set my affection towards the house of my God. Of my own proper good. That's First Chronicle 29, 3 to 4. This man gave and gave. And uh, David was a man of what? Favor. Was a man of, you know David? God orchestrated even before he became king for Saul to have some psychiatric problem. So he will favor David. That led David to the palace. God will cause something to happen that will lead you to where you'll be favored. You know, when he wants to favor you, he gave dream to Pharaoh so that Joseph would interpret. True? He will give somebody a problem that only you will solve. That amen is... I said, it will give somebody in the palace and only will solve the problem. Yeah. And from the problem you solve, favor will come. Yeah. Shout aloud, amen. amen. All you do is to put the kingdom of God first. Seek you first the kingdom of God. There's righteousness and everything shall be added. What? Invest your time, energy, money in soul winning. You can't lack favor putting his kingdom first. Every time you put his kingdom first, you're online for favor. Are you getting me? Pray this prayer after me. Wherever you are, say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. Now with my mouth, I declare you the Lord over my life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. If this message blessed your life or you need someone to pray with you, feel free to call us on plus two three four eight one one four seven zero nine five seven zero or plus two three four nine zero four three zero three zero seven one one we are here to listen and support you follow david ibiomi online for daily prophecies and wisdom quotes for living via instagram at david underscore ibiomi twitter at david ibiomi facebook at david ibiomi you can also listen and subscribe to the David Ibiomi Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, and much more. God bless you. Join us next time on Hour of Salvation with David Ibiomi. This message was brought to you by Salvation Ministries.